guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I am going to show you how to make this beautiful little um, journal now I haven't finished it I need to um, obviously decorate the front um, and the spine and everything um, but this year I wanted to do more on the spine so when they're on my shelf um, they're more sort of like decorative um, and look really pretty so this is a sort of soft spine like that so I thought I'd show you how to do this now I saw this um, I've been looking for a little while um, I think on Pinterest and on YouTube different sort of like spines um, and this one came up and it was uh, Susie from Shabby Soul did it she's got some beautiful bits and pieces in her um, videos that she makes um, so I thought I would give that a go now she actually sews in the pages into the spine with her sewing machine um, this one is very wibbly wobbly so this is my first attempt um, but I'm going to try and show you how I did it um, I'll link the video to her video down because she does explains it probably a lot lot better than I will but I love it now I've used the papers from my the book lovers kit um, which is beautiful loving these shabby papers so I will do another video after this um, and we'll decorate it up and add a few bits in inside which will be nice so let's get on now this is I'm just going to measure it to show you oops if I can get my bits and pieces it is four inches or what's that 10 10 um, centimeters or 15 centimeters by six so it's four by six or ten by fifteen so that's what we're going to do now the first thing I've got I've got two pieces here um, of like the calico fabric for the spine but the first thing I'm going to do good old Amazon packaging so again these are ten by fifteen centimeters or six by four inches now I've already covered two now for ease I've just covered it in some um, it's book paper but it's music paper but it's book paper music paper if you know what I mean and then I've got some more of my um, papers here let's just pop them I've got my sewing machine again next to me so it's a lot easier I believe to see um, and watch me sew now I'm going to take my glue stick like this so I just fancy doing some different little bits and pieces because um, as you know I'm going away at the end uh, next week so I'm trying to just I don't want to start a new journal I'll do that when I come back um, so unless I do have time we'll see so I was just going to do some little odd bits and pieces um, before I go whether I'll get any videos in the bag for when I'm away I'm not sure I will try but there's always something isn't there I've got to think I've got to go and do some shopping I'm going to pick up some bits and pieces that I want to take with us um, lots of things doing and we're also going out on Wednesday because as you all know it's the um, it's when my mum passed away on Wednesday the, the, she, it was the 21st of February so we thought we would just go out for the day um, I think we're going to go to some garden centres because my mum loved garden centres and we used to go and have a look around garden centres um, so I think that's what we'll do we're going to pick up some nice flowers and plants to put in the garden uh, maybe a nice walk on the beach lunch out so that's what we're going to be doing on Wednesday so um, celebration uh, we're not going to be sad we're going to celebrate my mum's life because she'd be cross if we didn't she'd be cross if we were sad um, so whether I'll get any videos in I'm not quite sure so we will see we will see how it goes but this is a nice one I have been I don't have I don't really look on Pinterest and YouTube but because I want to do some different spines this year I have been watching more videos um, on this amazing stuff out there absolutely amazing stuff so um, but I do like the thought of having some pretty spines on my shelf popping out so they look nice and decorative right so there we go that's one so that's really simple to do now doing it with a sort of like book paper or this 
um, music paper, if you've got like a thinner one, it does bend round so much easier than a thicker paper. I was going to put the book paper on there, not the book paper, or well, the book lover's paper, but I printed it onto 160 GSM paper and it's just a tad thick just to go around the edges. So um, I thought I would use this instead. Now I'm sure we all have book paper somewhere and there are so many different ideas you can use book paper, book pages for, which I think I will probably have to start doing a bit more because I do like the book papers in journals. There we go, so let's just fold that round. I'm not bothered too much about this side of it because this is going to be covered up anyway. These are going to go together, so let's just push those in like that. So that's all stuck down nicely. So these two, they go together, stick together like that, so it doesn't matter about the inside at all. Let's just quickly go around the edge, just with a little bit of ink. Now I will be sewing the papers together, not the papers, the um, covers together. Um, and the nice thing about the, the bendy um, spine, the fabric spine, um, is you can move it out the way to sew around the covers once you've um, sewn in the pages. But I'll show you that in a, a minute when we get to that bit. So just a little bit of inking around the edge. I'll quickly speed this, this bit up. Okay, so there we go, all nice and inked up around the edges. We're going to do it afterwards, but sometimes it's quite nice just to get that bit out of the way. Let's pop my glue on top. Right, so let's make sure they are around the right way like that. Okay, so we have four of those, two for the back and two for the front. Now, the other thing we want is a little bit of fabric to um, pop in the middle which is this bit, which is what we sort of like sandwich between um, the back and the front covers. Um, it's sort of sandwiched between and it looks really, really nice, doesn't it? So I have got a piece which is, I think it's six inches by three inches. Okay, so all I've done on here, I've marked it because I'm gonna just put three little bits of paper in there. I put five in the other one. But I've left a bigger gap. I'm just going to do this one because it will be easier for me to show you how to sew it um, without them being too close. But again, add as many in there as you like. I've got three inches, so I've gone marked off at one and a half inches. I've just gone up like that. I marked it off at one and a half, it like that, two inches, and then one. So that's sort of like the middle. And then we've got an inch either side to stick it into the journal. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just get some paper. So we only need to do this on the inside one because this is just going to be stuck on the other one. So that's not, not too bad. So what we want to do, I've got some printed double-sided on here. I think it's this way around. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just sort of like eyeball it. Eyeball it a little bit like that. Now you can use scrap papers to go in here. Josh, I mean, you don't have to use um, a whole sheet. Just use up some scraps if you can fold them in half. They don't have to be perfect. So what shall we do lengthways? Should we go nearly to the bottom? Say about there. Because I'm not going to do the pages all the same. Maybe I'll make an envelope. Should I pop an envelope in the middle? There we go, that's one page. And then maybe I'll just... Should we just use this piece? Maybe I'll do that. Because we don't like wasting, do we? So that will be the bit that's sewing in. And then this can just fold over. Is that going to be the right size? Yeah. That's okay. And then this can fold over like that. 
and then they can open up and we can pop stuff inside we can make a little closure for that as well so it's not um, it's not difficult just little bits of paper like I said you can have you've got sort of like odd bits of paper just fold them up so you can sort of like sew them in so it's a quite a nice one to use your little bits of scrap paper okay that's those two and let's just pop an envelope in the middle shall we now I'm gonna to have to get my my Fiskars cutter oh my desk is getting encroaching on me now shall we do how big a one do you think shall we just do it what's this way all right so that's eight let's do it eight by eight i think that's going to be too big let's see actually i'm going to use this to mark on here i'm going to pop it in between just so the point goes into those little bits like that where's my little tool what do you reckon that's the middle and then from there to there that should be the middle just mark that off so oh actually I would quite oh no I quite like that the inside so I'm gonna just bend that in you've seen me make lots of um, envelopes before so let's bend that in might be too big I know it should be okay now that's about right so that's eight by eight I've done let's fold that up open that up fold this down to there I'm going to round this off might need to round it off a little bit more because that's not going to quite fit is it this is quite big this one i'm going to round it off like that there we go that goes like that anyway well, i'm not going to normally i would cut that off there but i'm not going to i'm just going to round these edges like this Because we want this one to open up so we can pop things inside don't we and these little corner bits I'm just going to round off like that I don't think it's going to be the best envelope that I've ever made but it will be okay okay let's get rid of these little bits pop them on my floor So I think, oh no, these go in, don't they? Shall we sew this piece in? I'm going to have to cut that down. Oh, look, that fits. An 8x8 eight eight fits in there perfect, doesn't it? An 8x8 eight eight square. So that's good to know. I'm just going to chop this bit off because that's a bit... That's a bit caught in there. Should we do this bit as well? Okay. So these go in and that goes down. And then what we can do, that's the bit we will sew in down this side. And that will fold in. And then we will have, I think I have that, maybe I'll have that in the back like that so they go in 
going to be quite a big gap in between each one but I did think about putting some lace down right so that's our three little thingamajiggies so it's a little envelope and we can get something maybe I'll get a little velcro to stick that down and then it can open up and maybe we'll pop some pockets in but I'm going to do that afterwards okay I hope I haven't confused you so far right now we need this piece of paper piece of paper piece of um, calico on here so what I'm going to do I hope you can see those lines so what you want to do is just line that up like that now I'm going to line it up and then I'm going to open this up and I'm hoping I can clip this on like that just so that we know this doesn't move when we sew take another one of my little clips can you see that will go down that line like that so when we're on the sewing machine we open that up and sew down through there now I might actually I'm going to bend that back and I'm just going to ink that just so I've got a line to sew down there we go can you see my line so I'll take that to the sewing machine and sew that down and then I will pop this one on and do exactly the same thing and sew down there so we've got this big gap there but I want to pop some lace in there so let's get started let me bring my machine in okay I'm going to go there because I think you can probably see underneath just this bit it's a little bit further away from me but I think we should be okay let's just see how this goes I should have probably just opened up this little envelope bit at the side really but as long as I don't stick the needle in it I think we should be okay okay I could probably do with a bigger stitch actually on there let's just cut those down take these off can you see so that's just sewn on there lovely which looks really nice and that will just open out okay let's see let's do the other one pop that through is this the right way around? I think so. So again, mix your papers up. They don't have to be the same sort of papers. You can use all your lovely little odds and ends. Shall I ink that one? Let me ink this so I've got a line to follow. And I'll ink this one because I'll do this one as well. So let's just ink that down through there turn it round there we go is that upside down no so let's pop that actually what I'm going to do pop that on there open this up don't think it matters a hundred percent if you get it on there perfectly I'm going to just clip that there clip that like that so I think that's sort of down the line we shall see I'll just take my little peggy off there I'm just going to make the stitch just a tiny bit bigger Let's 
hope this is straight. Chop those little bits off. What do you think? Oh, that's not bad. You can still see the bit of the pencil liner, but it's not too bad, is it? Let's pull this out. Take this piece like that. Now I can see the end of here and also the end of there, so I know that's straight. So I'm going to hang on to that. I won't bother pegging this one. Let's see. Okay. Perfect. Let's just snip these little bits off for a minute. Let me just push my machine back there for a second. Okay, let's see what we've got. Now that's pretty straight. That's not too bad, is it? So they do lie down flat. So we've got that one, we have got that page, and then we've got the envelope. Lovely, love it. So that's perfect. Let's snip these little bits off here. So this is just a really nice different way to do a journal um, or a signature, isn't it? So in the signatures. So again, you could do this um, and have, you know, you could have a couple of pages in there. You don't just have to have one. You could have two or three in there. Depends how thick your pages are and how um, it will take, your your sewing machine will take the, the weight of the paper. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to stick on the back, don't we? Is that what we need to do? We need to stick that on the back like that and then we can stick it on the front. Don't think it really matters, does it? Which way round? No. So I'm going to go with. So we've got the line down here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go, you know, a nice little sort of distance of. What's that from there? Quarter of an inch quarter of an inch or sort of like three, half a centimeter just from the last um, stitch lines now where's my glue gone what did I do with my glue oh here it is behind my sewing machine so I'm just going to use a bit of fabric check on here I'm going to let's make sure we are the right way round just a little bit because I'm going to sew this as well so let's just stick that on I hope I'm doing this right I think and then you see this one then goes on no I've done this wrong what we need to do don't we oh my gosh of course good job I thought about it then right I think I have to stick the front ones on don't I not the back one I'm going to stick the front one on that's what I need to do so if I stick that on there on the front and then we can stick this on the back and then this over the top does that sound about right? that sounds about right doesn't it? okay that's okay let's pop that to the side and I'm going to get glue everywhere whew that was lucky that's okay so this is the front I'm going to stick that on there so again the same distance but it's just going to be on the front let's see 
little bit of glue on there. Pop that. Like that. How much you think? Okay, and then we need to do the back one. So we'll take this one and pop it up this way. So again, half an inch or so, or quarter of an inch. A little bit of glue on there. I will have a go at making a bigger one of these, but I thought I would just do a smaller one just so I get the hang of how to do it because I think you'd have to do this a couple of times okay so that's there we go lovely so that means we've got quite there's an, although there's only sort of like three things in there you've got room to put lots of little bits and pieces in this envelope and then we'll put velcro or maybe I'll just pop a little paper clip or something on there so let's see let's go around this way so that's it isn't it so then we stick this onto here like that to cover up these little bits on there and then these go on like that that's right that's how we do it isn't it let's just pop some glue Around the edges. So well, I suppose you could make lots of them. Um, Susie from Shabby Soul made some. She's got some beautiful stuff. She had um, laces and stuff on hers. So definitely pop over and take a look. I'm sure you'll probably um, subscribe to her channel anyway. But she's got some beautiful stuff. The reason I saw it as well is because she's just done a beautiful journal for Tim Holtz actually I think he's got new fabric or something it's very very colorful and it's very very lovely um, so once you start watching one thing they sort of like pop up don't they on your feed on your on YouTube so I believe that's about right now I'll get my glue off my fingers okay so then this is easy to stick on because we just have to line it up with this side like that and then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew around the edge so I'm going to which it doesn't stop you actually popping another bit of lace coming out through there does it Josh and me you can stick some lace out of there but I think I might cover that spine up as well with a bit of lace let's see we can make lots of these. Stick lots of glue on there. I'm not too worried about the outside because I said I'm going to um, sew around it anyway. Just make sure your edges are nice and straight. Hold that down. Perfect. So that's the front cover. I love these. I suppose you could make a few of these little ones, couldn't you? Before you make, and then have them in your stash to make a few journals. Okay, and then that one goes there. Make sure we are the right way round. I've stuck this oh my gosh I've done it again it's got to go this way around there we go phew that was close not that it really matters because I'll probably end up cutting it and um, cover, covering it up anyway but it's quite nice to have it sort of the right way around to start with isn't it there we go guys 
love it that's fabulous isn't it and that's the lovely wobbly spine now again you can leave it like that or you can pop lace and bits on it but what I'm going to do now I'm going to sew around the edge just to show you I'm going to glue off my fingers let's bring our machine in I think you can probably see it from there Oops. okay so make sure your papers are on the up that side while you're sewing this one so I'm going to just which is the easiest way to do it let's go from here Oops. okay is the hard bit let's just poke that in there there we go could do with actually I'm not quite to the end let me go back around this way down there we go one more little stitch it needed let's pop that in there bring that down Now when I sew on the sewing machine, I don't use any, I'm only using the needle that came with the machine. I'm not a seamstress, I don't know much about sewing, but I love sewing on paper. And I've also my little shabby sort of like snippet rolls and things like that, but I only use the um, needle that's in there. Um, so nothing special at all. Right, let's do this side. Which side should we start with? Should we just go down through here? But I just love my sewing machine. It's just fabulous. to the end am I? There we go. There we go, perfect. Let's just snip that off like that. Pop the machine just back a little bit. Let's cut these little little bits off. I think that's it. On here. Look at that. I love it. Now this is really, really quite simple. Now again, if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to sew these bits on. But you could sew this on with just like a little pamphlet stitch onto these bits um, instead of sewing it in with um, your sewing machine but this is just so so simple um, and i just think it's fabulous isn't it look at that 
I love them so now I have a two this one has got a lot more in it so this one was a little bit difficult to sew in because you can see I'm really offset on this bit but I'm not really bothered um, so this was my first attempt and this one I love this actually this little bit of music paper because it goes with the cover and the piece like that so loving them <coughs> excuse me so what I will do, I will be back in my next video. I've got to go out now, so I would love to finish this off, but I can't. So I will be back. I'm going to leave this like this, and then we will come back, um, and I will show you how I'm going to embellish them, because I think I will pop some little bits and pieces in, but I love them. All right, guys. Well, thank you so, so much for joining me. I'll pop the videos um, for the Chevy Soul, Susie from the Chevy Soul, Soul her video um, underneath so you can take a look at that and probably a lot lot better than mine um, and she's got such pretty stuff so do do please go and have a look all right guys well thank you so much stay safe take care and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye